I'm Lee Morris and this is Patrick Hall. Join us behind the scenes as we film Photographing the World with Elia Licardi. If you want more information about either of the two tutorials that we filmed, head over to fstoppers.com slash store. In this episode, we spend a week in Cinque Terre capturing three separate lessons for the tutorial. And after we're finished, we celebrate by jumping off of a cliff. <laughs> This behind the scenes series actually covers the creation of two separate photography tutorials. The first tutorial was on landscape photography and we covered that in episodes one through eight in New Zealand and in Iceland. This episode begins the second season of the behind the scenes series and starts the creation of the cityscape astrophotography and advanced post-processing tutorial. We're going to go from Italy to Singapore to Hong Kong to Cambodia and then back to New Zealand just to capture incredible night skies. Now that you guys are all caught up, let's get to the behind the scenes action in Cinque Terre, Italy. Cinque Terre, first day of filming. Cinque Terre is absolutely amazing. It is five very small villages on the edge of cliffs overlooking the Mediterranean Sea. And the only way to travel from village to village is on the train through the mountains. After seeing this amazing location for myself, the first thing I had to do was get some aerial footage. Look at all of the people taking pictures. No one's seen this before. Once again, the drone proved to be our favorite piece of gear that we brought along on this entire trip. The footage looked absolutely amazing every time we brought it out of the case. Patrick's gear, on the other hand, wasn't working out quite so well. So this is my review of the uh, Manfrotto 190, ironically made in Italy. But <clears throat> this tripod, uh, really quick to pull out, it loses its feet every time we use it. We've replaced those like twice now. It's the sound of quality. <laughs> quality Italian craftsmanship. <laughs> if you're trying to photograph like wildlife, they're probably going to hear you before you get set up. Yeah, zero out of 10 ninja assassins recommend that tripod for stealth maneuvers. <laughs> for our first lesson in Italy, we decided to get as close to the Mediterranean Sea as we could. Uh, we set up the, uh, the D750 on this Kessler Stealth motorized slider, and uh, I'm just trying to get this shot of uh, Cinque Terre as the sun sets, and it's gonna show bright light all the way down to the blue hour. This ended up being the very first lesson for the second tutorial on cityscape photography, and so Elia decided to keep it pretty simple. I'm shooting at a very low ISO 64 at f8 so that I know everything, all my edges are going to be sharp throughout. I'm also shooting using three exposure brackets. And the reason being is I want to make sure that I capture those strong highlights on the cloud. Now a good rule with exposure bracketing is to capture everything that you think you may need. Now it turns out I might not need to use all three in the final shot but it's nice to have them just in case I need the proper exposure. As soon as we finished up our night shooting session, it was important for us to quickly make it to the train station because these trains only run once late at night this time of year. This is the closest, this is a focaccia pizza with pesto. It's typical to this region. This is the best one you can get in Cinque Terre, so it's, Bernatza has the best one. What's I know opinion? this place called Mellow Mushroom. It's really rare, but they have it in Charleston and in Enterprise, Alabama. Mm, their pizza is the best. Best thing about coming to Italy is all of this incredible local food. Mm. This is where the cheeseburger was first made. Yeah. This is an Italian hot sauce. After my authentic Italian meal, we decided to hike up to the top of Vernazza to film the next lesson. I shot up here quite a few times. This is my this is one of my favorite viewpoints in the world. I don't think it can really get much better than this photographic view. Um, 
Since Eli has such a small window to capture the perfect frame he needs for his photographs, a lot of our B-roll footage had to be filmed when the light was changing very rapidly. So this is the perfect opportunity for me to give you guys a little bit of tip. A little bit of tip. <laughs> ah, that's great! In this lesson, Aliyah created a beautiful image by blending time. He used a blue hour shot combined with a later dark shot with the ambient lights from the city to create one perfectly lit and balanced image. Before we know it, we started really simple, but look at all these layers we have. It's already getting very, very deep as far as a composite goes. Original raw, straight out of camera would have looked like this, but then we were able to take it from this to this, which is just extraordinary. For the next lesson, we went to Rio Maggiore. Is that a ninja with a hamburger? <laughs> That's such a good question, I will not even consider it. We started out by getting a little bit of B-roll, and we didn't bring any sort of steady cam with us, but we learned that we could use the DJI Phantom to stabilize our walking shots. So here you can see me following Elia with the drone in my hands to get super smooth footage. So we're about to film our first tutorial using the Pano Gimbal. This one's by Really Right Stuff over here. And this is quite a piece of machinery. It is. How much does this thing cost? It's 700 bucks, I think. What a bargain. And the whole thing is, can you pivot that thing around, show them what it does? Yeah, essentially, once you figure out your zero parallax point, which means there's no parallax in this rotation, level everything out, center the horizon, I can do panos from right to left and left to right. And then I can do multi-row panels, panos just by raising the camera up and repeating or lowering the camera and repeating. So the parallax will never change between any of these frames and everything will stitch 100% perfect every time. All right, so we're about to start filming here. I'm gonna set up the GoPro and film a time lapse uh, just of the city with the sun kind of going down over the horizon. Uh, let's see how it turns out. Okay. Now while I used to think that my life was amazing and I was better than everybody else on this stupid little planet, hanging out with Patrick of F-Stoppers has really put new things into perspective. He is so much a god when he wears his space boots, it's hard to touch that. He's really made me rethink my whole life strategy. It's like he's otherworldly, literally from a cosmic dimension so far unknown to us. After Elias stopped professing his love to Patrick, we ended up recording a great lesson on how to produce a complicated pano shot. Since I'm using this gimbal, it has a really convenient node out here where I can test the level and make sure that it's perfect. But sometimes if you get to high extremes on each side, it can start to canter off a little bit. So I just wanna make sure that it stays level. Now, as you can see, as I pan through this image from right to left, you can see that the horizon will stay dead center the entire time. Now this is gonna be a single row pano, but if I wanted to do multiple rows, I'd start by shooting the center one like this, then I'd rotate the camera up like this, do an additional row, down like this, and do another additional row. So we just noticed here, people go paragliding. And uh, he, he said, oh, I'm, that's, there's no problem, we'll, we'll definitely go paragliding. But every time we bring it up, he says we don't have any time left. Even though we just said moments ago, what do we have to film tomorrow? Nothing. We got done early. We have all day free tomorrow. And he's like, ah, I don't know if we have time. So we're going to try to convince him to do the paragliding. So uh, what are you thinking about paragliding tomorrow? Uh, if we can figure it out, I, just, I, would, I, I, I would love to, I'm not trying to, I love paragliding for ceiling, but I think that I'd rather have B-roll with these towns. What if we, we have all the B-roll shot though? I think we can do a better job in Vernazza. Redo, do some more drone stuff in Vernazza low. We should go to the other viewpoint and do that because it's so iconic. You know the, the vantage point we don't have? 
<laughs> is <laughs> wide angle GoPro from a paraglide. I've paraglided before. I don't think it's the first time. You have not. You've sat behind a boat. You've parasailed. Parasailed, same thing. No, 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 no. Today we are going paragliding, hopefully, over the top of Cinque Terre. Patrick has never been more prepared in his life. We're afraid that Elias is going to try to get out of it again. Uh, he says he's not scared, but he was sick yesterday. He doesn't look like he's feeling too well today. So we'll see. Who's coming to Paraglide? To today. Just us. Yeah. I'm probably gonna go. There we go. Is it okay. dangerous? No. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. no, no, no. They are for what? For something special or just uh... for flying? <laughs> yeah, these things, they lift me up off the ground. Okay, that's great. You'll see. The real question is, yes. do you think I can run in these boots? Yes, sure. Yeah? No. Have you ever seen boots like this before I in your life? Is it a snowboard boot? No. They're not snow, no, they're, they're, they look like snowboard boots, oh, okay. but they're they are. They're bigger than snowboard okay. boots. What? If you have to, <laughs> oh. Sometimes can happen, no? You want me to put okay. that up here? No, 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 it's just here, on the pocket. Here with Gabe Trichish. Yeah. She's gearing me up. Yeah! She's gearing me up, we're ready to go. I cannot wait to see Patrick scampering forward in his moon boots. I landed first and I was able to start up the drone and get some really unique shots of both Patrick and Naomi touching down. Done with the paragliding here in Chico Terre. Pretty amazing experience. Just wraps up our section here. We're gonna head to Rome and start shooting some cityscape. Travel just keeps getting better and better. In next week's episode, we head to Italy and shoot the Vatican. We experience a local liquor for the first time, and we find our best meal in Rome with some good old American comfort food. To learn more about this entire photography tutorial, head over to fstoppers.com/slash Elia Licardi.